Rudolf Diesel was born in 1858, France. At the outbreak of Franco-Prussian War in 1870, his family was forced to move to London. He attended an English school there. When he was 12-year-old Diesel went to Augsburg to live with his aunt and uncle. At the age of 14, Diesel wrote a letter to his parents saying that he wanted to become an engineer. After finishing his basic education at the top of his class in 1873, he enrolled at the newly founded Industrial School of Augsburg. Diesel graduated in January 1880 with highest academic honors and returned to Paris. In the 1880s, the most significant inventions were all centered around steam. Steam engines used a lot of coal, were very expensive, and extremely inefficient. Big companies could afford them while little businesses were struggling to keep up. Rudolf Diesel spent the next several years working on his new diesel engine. While he failed at getting such a remarkable result. The problem with the first diesel engine is they proved to be unreliable. While a lot of people bought his engines, many ended up bringing them back and asking for a refund. This led Diesel into a financial hole that he could never escape. One place where Diesel found success was with the military because diesel fuel was heavier and was less likely to explode. In 1904, the French army started using diesel engines in their submarines. In 1913, Rudolf Diesel was on his way to meet with the British Navy to broker a deal about installing his engines on their submarines. Somewhere over the English Channel, Diesel went overboard. Some believed that he jumped because of his financial struggles, others thought that he was thrown over. The history of the diesel engine is full of innovation and mystery. Unfortunately, Rudolf Diesel wasn't around to see the real reach of his invention.